I'm my Mika. And, and this, this is the Hawk News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's day is October 6th. National holiday for today is National Noodles Day. Is the cafeteria serving noodles? Unfortunately, no. Today's lunch is beef nachos with cheese sauce, a personal pan pepperoni pizza, or cheese pizza with a side of refried beans, golden corn, blueberry whip parfait, and fresh fruit. Before I pass the news on to Mr. Campbell, we're gonna do a book review. You're reviewing the series Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson is a series of books. Today we'll be covering the first book, The Lightning Thief. In the first book, Percy finds out that he's a half-blood and is sent to camp called Camp Half-Blood. Half-blood or demigod is when a mortal and a god have a kid. Camp Half-Blood was meant to protect the demigods. Percy is sent to Camp Half-Blood with his protector, who was covered up as a normal high school kid but is actually a centaur. Okay, that's enough. We don't want to spoil the book. Check out the library to see if they have this book. The author also turned the first book into a movie. It's available on YouTube, Disney Plus, Vudu, and Prime Video. Now to Mr. Gamble for the rest of the news. Good morning, Hawks. May I please have your attention for our morning announcements. It is Tuesday, October the 6th, and said it's Tuesday, got a different backdrop. As I said, I love sunsets. This sunset is also from last Thursday and was taken by a friend of mine at their lake place out. Lake Santa Fe, Melrose Bay, actually, but looking west towards the sun. So, if you got a cool sunset picture and you want to use on the backdrop, go ahead and email it to me, okay? I got plenty more to come up. Love sunsets and sunrises, moonrises and moonsets too. Okay, what else going on? All right, on Monday, that was yesterday, there are a team of electricians installing water fountains. We we're hoping to get the water bottle filler stations, like you see in stadiums and airports around, but it's real hard to get those now. So they are on back order, which means it'll take a long time to get in. So in the meantime, they've installed some good old fashioned water fountains. Here's the catch. We can't use them as regular water fountains, like lean over, push the button, get a drink, glug, glug, glug. These are only for filling up your water bottles. So you need to get a water bottle. If you don't have one to bring with you every day, please ask. There's lots of water bottles around. We can get you a water bottle. Easy peasy, all right? But you gotta remember to hold on to that water bottle, bring it back every day to refill. So again, don't put your lips anywhere near the water fountains once they get the water to them. I don't know if they're flowing yet or not, but just use them for filling water bottles, okay? So we're making progress here. Okay, um, books, books. I'm a bibliophile, love books, love to read all the time. And I gotta put in some plugs for some of the great books that Ms. Colson's been getting for our media center, okay? And this is one of them, let me put it up here. Uh, uh, it's called New Kid. This new Kid's just showing up. I'm trying to hold it in front of the camera there. Anyways, New Kid by Jerry Craft. It's what you call a graphic novel, not a comic book. But it's about the, a kid that goes to a different middle school, middle school age, and it's got a big city aspect that many of us from little old Gainesville, Florida might have a hard time relating to. But as middle school students you are, you should be able to relate to the adventures and things that happen to them. I remember I read it this summer when Miss Colson first got it. She let me check it out first, and uh, it's a good book, all right? It's an easy page turner, and there's a couple copies, so it's in the Sunshine State Reader's. Uh, file there that Miss Colson has, so come on by and check it out. And, uh, drills. We were supposed to do a fire drill on Monday, but it's rainy and wet. We don't want people getting all muddy and then tracking that mud into your nice rooms, so we're going to have to reschedule for another day. However, there are different things we can do, and one, and Mr. Spears sent out some information about that, it's our Alice drills. Now, we don't want everybody just cramming into a corner, pretending to barricade things, but teachers, review these steps with your students uh, every period and so they know what to do okay so it's mostly just common sense stuff and the students the most important thing is to always listen to your teacher okay all right another thing is progress reports today today you get your first progress reports that's right been in school just over five weeks now so teachers uh put in your progress report grades over the weekend they're due saturday so i'm not sure about the uh getting the hard copy or what but um you'd be able to see it in skyward okay so that's for brick and mortar and 
digital students, and of course, your parents get to see your progress report grades. All right. Okay, then remember each and every class period, let's work hard. It's a smart thing to do, makes you smarter, makes the day go by quickly. Be kind always, it's always the right thing to do. Finally, give someone a compliment during the day. When you receive a compliment, look that person in the eye and say, Thank you. It's quite easy to do. All right, let's have a terrific Tuesday, Hawks. Thank you very much. Have a terrific Tuesday. Go, Go Hawks.